Hello and welcome. In this example, in this three example, I'm going to talk about uh, mobility models. So I created a custom mobility model in this class, called it custom mobility model. And I'll show you why I did that. And I'm just sharing it if anyone will find it useful. The use case here is I have constant acceleration mobility model, which is part of NS3. And basically I'm installing it in two nodes. And I'm just gonna get these objects from these two nodes after I install them, I'm gonna give them initial positions and I'm just gonna start one uh, with velocity zero, acceleration three, and the other one starting at velocity 10 and acceleration minus three. I only did this for the X axis movement. So I do not have lateral movement. And for my scenario, I'm using cooperative adaptive cruise control. This works for my scenario. I'm gonna schedule an event to uh, basically every second I'm calling this function and I'm using the global node list, just getting the mobility models and then just printing the velocities. If I print this, if I run this, it's my la latest modify example. So I'm just gonna show a mobility example. You will notice the problem we have with constant acceleration mobility model. It accelerates and it doesn't hit a speed limit. It just keeps going. This is a meter per second, so this is really, really fast. On the other hand, the other node started at 10, slowed down, and then reversed direction. And if we run this with visualization with PyViz, you could see what I'm talking about. This one will move a little bit, slow down, and then move backward while this one will accelerate forever. I want them to all go the same direction and I want this node to stop because it cannot go backward. So these are the rules. For that, let me change this to my custom mobility model and see how my mobility model works to fix that. I'm just gonna, oh, let's stop this guy. Okay, I'm gonna use my shortcut to run my latest modified project under Scratch. And this will run the same example. As you can see, we hit 30 meter per second, and then this is the speed limit is 30 upper limit and zero is the lower limit. This one slowed down, didn't move any further. If we show the visualization, we can see that this is what happened. This one slowed down and then stopped then one, this one kept going. Okay, so what did we do in custom mobility model? The key idea here is once I set the acceleration to a certain value, and I know I'm accelerating toward my limit, I schedule an event at a calculated time when I hit that limit. And so I used, I modified I used a uh, uh, constant acceleration mobility model as a base class, and I modified it basically. So basically the class here, I called it custom mobility model. It's a subclass of mobility model, and I defined certain functions, and these are the same, the same as I have in, uh, the same values I have in a uh, uh, constant acceleration mobility model, and then I created some instant uh, variables such as max and min speed limit. So in my constructor, I just initialize these to these values. The key idea is in set acceleration and velocity, uh, set velocity and acceleration. And so this is basically, it's the same code. I just do some checking to make sure I'm only changing to a value at X, not touching the Y. And I'm going to calculate right here if my acceleration is negative, it means I'm slowing down. So let me make sure that I find the time when I reach velocity zero. And to do that is basically I use my base velocity, divide that by the acceleration value. And the other hand, if my acceleration is positive, I'm going to basically compute the time until I reach the, uh, the speed limit. So this is the difference between my current velocity and the speed limit. And uh, 
the other case, if the acceleration is zero, then basically I will have the time is zero. So what happened at this time, if I'm speeding up, I'm going to call set acceleration to zero with max velocity. And if I'm slowing down, I'm going to set the velocity to zero and acceleration to zero. So these are what these two functions do. I'm setting zero, zero, zero when I need to come to a standstill. And I set the acceleration to max and the, uh, sorry, the speed to max, velocity to max and acceleration to zero. Now, what if I change the acceleration before I reach that speed limit? In this case, I'm going to cancel that limit event. So every time I create an event, I have it as a, a M limit event. If I set the acceleration again before I reach that limit, I'm going to call this function again and then cancel previously scheduled event because I changed the acceleration, so I changed the speed by which I'm you know, moving. Uh, I changed the, uh, the acceleration by which I'm moving, and that works. And so if I go to this example, and maybe if now equal, equal uh, seconds three, I can uh, basically uh, use, let's say, no, I cannot set that. I have to dynamically cast it. Dynamic cast, uh, custom ability model, so M0. I have a function here, set, uh, no, no, CMM. CMM set acceleration value. So I have it to one, for example, or let's say 0.5. So in this case, when the time is three seconds, I'm going to do just that. Uh, let's run that. As you can see here, I was at three meter per second per second, and then I changed the acceleration to 0.5, and now it's accelerating at a at, at a different rate, hit 30, and then stuck to 30. So that's it, I'm going to share this code to find it useful. I mean, there are other functions just to help me do, for example, I get the acceleration, I'm setting the acceleration limit if I need to. Uh, so upper limit to acceleration, lower limit, I make sure that Acceleration value gets me the X component only as a double. If I set acceleration, I also, uh, what is it, set acceleration value? Set acceleration, acceleration value. So I make sure that if I set it to a higher limit than my limit, then I set it to that limit uh, so that I don't exceed some physical limits so because when you design vehicular networks i want to make sure that i don't go over uh, that the car can realistically accelerate and decelerate at these rates that's it i'll share this with my git repository i hope you find it useful and uh, you know maybe you use it if you need to do it for my application i use cooperative adaptive cruise control basically vehicles on one line or one lane so I'm only dealing with the X component. So, and every time I compute new acceleration value, and so I set it like that. Thank you and have a nice day.